Oh yeah, that's the stuff. 3D printing chocolate. This is what we've all been waiting for. So this guy from Ukraine hit me up and with this extruder that apparently allows you to 3D print chocolate. It's just the extruder, so it should be compatible with most printers. I got the white chocolate, I got the milk chocolate and the dark chocolate, I got the kit. So let's make some good stuff. I'm, I might have gone ahead of myself again. I did have to take it apart uh, because you have to 3D print your own mount for it to fit on the Creality Ender 3, which kind of is my go-to printer at the moment. But hopefully it gave you an insight to the working components of the chocolate extruder and how you put it together. So I'm gonna continue with assembling this. Good, so yeah, got. Uh, okay, we're gonna start off with making a 3D printed solid chocolate cookie, a double decker nonetheless. So we're gonna have dark chocolate on top, then a mid layer of white chocolate. Then we are gonna finish off strong with the bottom layer of dark chocolate again. So let's put this chocolate in the container and see if it even melts. One extremely annoying shift later. Forty-eight hours of just problems. At least the chocolate is good. What I am trying to say is that there has been a couple of problems. Number one, the main board on my Ender 3 actually got killed because the supplied motor cable may have reversed polarity depending on which printer you are using, which will kill the extruder driver on your motherboard. So cross check the wires before you plug in the cable. The second issue was 100% my fault, but in the kit you will have a small thin plastic piece wedged between the two metal parts that I stupidly figured would be to prevent scratching during shipping between those metal parts. But boy was I wrong, that's there to prevent leaking in the system, which was one of the major problems that I had chocolate leaking out from everywhere. It wasn't until I 3D printed this piece in Ninja Flex that stopped all the leaking. And now fast forward to where I am right now, I did in fact have a successful chocolate 3D print which was super exciting to see, though I could see a lot of problems with extrusion, the quality was really not quite there, which I think is caused by not having a good match chocolate. So. using a bit too high temperature for the next layer to be printed it doesn't solidify fast enough so let's try this again with a little bit lower temperature six months later Jesus I worked with this equipment on and off for legit six months I did share some of my initial problems that I came across one of which being the nozzle the nozzle would get clogged basically blocking the chocolate from flowing and that was using the normal kind of chocolate with the two main ingredients being sugar and cacao. Is that how we say it? Cacao? Cacao. Cacao. 
way too many failed time lapses where it would print the first layers and then something would clog up in the nozzle. So we moved on to the chocolate glaze, which is a lot less thick. It's a lot more liquid, so it easily flows. Uh, and that worked seemingly better. We did manage to print this, which was a huge success in my eyes at the time. Uh, but it still wouldn't work, even with the larger nozzle diameters being 0.8 millimeter. I'm fast forwarding this, this is really months of work. But I came in contact with Pavel, the guy who manufactures these kits. It's a guy from Ukraine. And I asked him to send the ingredients list for the chocolate that he found worked for him. Which he also said that not all chocolates will work with this extruder. And the two main ingredients, and this really surprised me, was sugar and vegetable fat. And so I found in, in Sweden, I was, I was able to order these online. It's a chocolate with the two main ingredients being sugar and hardened vegetable fat. So it's, it's pretty much not even chocolate anymore. I cut up the chocolate, I put it in the heated reservoir, I let it melt. And finally, I had my very first successful chocolate through the print. Doesn't this mean that we can finally start eating the stuff we make? The best project we've ever done. Okay, let me just peel off the hot glue from the bottom. It's the pinnacle of 3D printing. It will not get better than this. Okay, here we go. Mmm. Hmm. <laughs> um. Oh, that was fantastic. All right, setting this up is really not much different. You can use pretty much the same settings as you normally would. It's a beloved model to print, so imagine it 2.5 times bigger and solid chocolate. Normally when you 3D print you have a plastic that solidifies fast enough for it to be rigid enough to hold itself up And that's a big problem with chocolate. It kind of just flows down and clearly I didn't have enough cooling uh, It's a combination be between not having enough cooling and the chocolate being hot enough Also, I'm, I'm probably going a bit too fast for for the chocolate not to have time to solidify uh, But I did my best and hopefully we can save this Oh yeah, there we go. So what are we saying? A B plus? B? Now the price for only the extruder is $350. That's twice the price from the entire printer. So before you start bashing on the price, keep in mind that there's just this one Ukraine guy that is doing all of this and he's still Managed to give you the DIY experience. There's not a whole lot of people doing this You can't really purchase a chocolate extruder that easily so Keep that in mind and even though this didn't work very well for me in the beginning I think with the problems that I've shared and the solutions to them You can have this up and running quite quickly and even might quite reliably Let me know in the comments below what you think about 3d printing chocolate and what I should do next I hope you enjoyed today's video. Have an awesome day. Bye.